Road, New Zealand's first rubber road is being planned in the Selwyn district. Treadlight NZ is the only company providing the uh, recycled rubber granules for use in New Zealand. And Brad Pierce joins me now on the line. Good morning, Brad. Good morning. How are you? Look, there's, there's that. Oh, well, I'm fantastic, but I mean, I, you, you look like you're uh, you're up early and smiling as well. Look, there's that saying: the road rise up to meet you. Maybe the wind always be at your back. Is this sort of uh, you know literally going to change the um, the driving experience for me? Well, we hope so. It's um, te technology's moved on. You know, we need we need to do things differently. And uh, rubber going into roads um, is not new. You know, we would love to say that we've we've designed the brew, we've made the cake mix, but we haven't. Um, we have been closely following uh, Canada, South Africa, Australia, um, America, the UK. Those guys have been doing the rubber into the roads for years now, and uh, we're just trying to bring it to New Zealand as quickly as we can. So this is like a trial at this stage, basically. I think it's Selwyn uh, Council running something down near the Glen Tunnel Road on State Highway. Let's just check the notes there. State Highway 77, if you know it, it's a nice little inland route if you're making your way uh, south from Christchurch. Might be doing that later this year. So uh, what are you hoping that the trial will show, that, that our roads can handle what you plan to put down on them? We don't, yeah, yeah, I think so. We, we don't have any real, real concerns about it handling it. Um, Roads in Canada, rubber roads in Canada have been down now for 25 years and haven't been lifted. Um, we know that you know that the numbers don't lie, the science is in. Uh, a road that has rubber in it will last 30% longer um, and it will be 20% quieter. Um, they're, they're good things for everybody, right? Um, but the kicker is we're taking a waste product which was going to landfill uh, before Tywise came in with this fantastic new government stewardship. Um, and we're turning this into a valuable resource um, that we can we can do better for New Zealand. You know, to export tyres out of our country, waste tyres, is wrong. You know, we should be dealing with our own ears. It's our place, it's our problem. We should be fixing it. Um, we've invested heavily in this. Uh, tomorrow we open our new factory here in Cambridge, um, purpose-built for this. Um, at the moment, we're, all our rubber granules are going into kids' playgrounds, artificial sports fields, horse arenas, mattings, tiles, footpaths, you know, great company up in Auckland, Porous Lane, you know, now making footpaths with our rubber. Um, what we need are some big volume tickets, and roading gives us that. So roading means that we can probably put about 6 million tyres come into New Zealand every year. Um, roading could take 1.5 million of those tyres. Um, so it's, a, it's exciting. We're, we're, we're amped. We're pumped. As someone who grew up in Northland and is just used to sort of the roads disintegrating every five minutes it feels like and needing a patch up. Is this almost, is this a solution for that? Is this kind of like a self-healing surface or a one that's going to hang together a bit better? Yeah, so again, we haven't made the brew. We, we've been working with um, global companies that have been doing this for a really long time now. Um, Aussies love it with their variable temperatures because the, the road has a little bit of give into it. Um, the UK love it because the rubber never ices over. Um, Canada have been, and South Africa have probably led the way for the nice last 25 plus years now putting rubber in the roads. And just the, the maintenance is less. The, the roads hold together better. Um, it's exciting. You know, we're, we're really hoping that the New Zealand contractors will, will, will understand that sometimes things have to change. And it's not just about changing the brew for the roads. It's about we have to deal with our own rubbish. And... Uh, this is a real opportunity that the roading contractors and NZTA can help us all do it. And um, again, without tyre-wise, the government stewardship, none of this would have been possible. So we just this, sort of, this is really exciting. No, we're just sort of pushing the, rub, the rubber down the road a little bit, or the rubbish down the road a little bit. Does it stay there, or does it break up and wind up back in the environment? No, no absolutely. So it stays there because it's sealed in the bitumen. And then, just like normal, when a road is resurfaced at, at a later date, um, it is mulched up, it stays in it, we add more, and it just stays in the road. So it just keeps adding to the actual surface. It, um, yeah, it's, it's a great product when it's used correctly. It's, it's not the waste product and the scourge of the, the paddocks and the silage heaps that we always thought it was. It's better than that. Sounds like an exciting uh, opportunity for you there. Brad, I hope it goes really well. That's Brad Pierce from Treadlight NZ.